Mikel Arteta has just dropped a bombshell in his press conference ahead of our game against Atalanta in the first game of the Champions League. We knew it. I mean, let's have it right. Mikel Arteta's new contract was announced. He was very coy on Martin Odegaard's fitness anyways. Martin Odegaard faces a lengthy spell on the sidelines, people, as it's been confirmed he suffered significant damage. Now, if I share my screen with you guys, people, um, so we can read exactly what has been said. Again, the full quotes of everything hasn't yet been around. We will cover his press conference, but on Odegaard ahead of the Atalanta game. After recent scans, the scans showed that he's got some damage, especially on one of the ligaments in the ankle, which is what you didn't want to hear. I don't want to give a timeline because I'm not a doctor, but it's something quite significant. So we are going to lose him for a while. Hopefully not months. Let's see. Now, we hope it's not months. The first thing I'll say is rest up Capitano. The second thing I would say is what you didn't want to hear, ligaments. Now, he had severe bruising. Every day that the bruising goes down, scans will report something new. We have heard he's had multiple scans and it still wasn't conclusive. So could you beg the question that A, Arsenal knew, they didn't know how long he'd be out for exactly what's been on, but they knew he was in trouble. And B, when did they find this out? Because Arteta was very evasive on the, in the North London Derby press conference ahead of this game, specifically about Martin Odegaard. Now, nobody here is naive if you're on my channel, big up yourselves. You knew that Martin Odegaard wasn't going to play there. You was hoping it was just swelling and not ligament issues. So the first thing I would say is speedy recovery and I hope he's back. The second thing I would say is, yeah, even myself, my head is on Mars because Odegaard's a great player. We lose a lot of creativity. We lose the man in the midfield in terms of organising and leading the press. We lose that relationship he's got with Saka, and Benjamin White, when there's other issues in the middle of the park behind him, you know, Odegaard kind of makes up the difference, especially if Kai Havertz is going to play in midfield. I don't care about transfers now. Yes, we should have, because us fans, we were saying we want wingers, we want strikers, we want central midfielders. We're cool with signing a left back and bringing in goalkeepers. But we said we haven't got you know, cover in midfield. Now, whether you've got a blood young Ethan, whether you've got to play Gabriel Jesus, Kai Havertz, uh, Sterling, Zinchenko, whatever you've got to do, work it out. Because again, Mikel Arteta and Edu, you sat there, you lot of smart men, you sat there at the beginning of the season and said, well, obviously no one could predict this many injuries, but you sat there and said, if we do get injuries and worse comes to worse, which we're facing now with a crisis of sorts, this is how we're going to go about it. We've got that player, we've got this. Now, many people will say Fabio Vieira and Smith Rowe, could they have been kept? Potentially, you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Everyone's a genius. Going to have to get on with it. I don't know if he still plays someone in the eight and a half to ten row. I don't know if you go with a flat midfield three of, you know, Jorginho, Partey, Havertz or Mikel Marino when he's involved. I'm not sure, people, but we have to find a solution. It is what it is because we've got a lot of football to be played. I don't know if Team News and Ticks is right or wrong, but he said he'll be back around November, which is very subjective. We've seen it with Timber, with Tommy Asu, with Saliba. Arsenal play quite coy in that regards, people. So I don't know what's going to happen. But again, even if he's back in November, like significant football, obviously he's not playing tomorrow against Atalanta. He's ineligible to play against City. Bolton, he probably would have been rested. He misses the Leicester game. He misses Paris Saint-Germain in October, as he does with Southampton and Bournemouth. He misses the Shakhtar game. When you start, well, to be fair, you know, some of you say he's not good in big games, but you miss Liverpool, you miss Newcastle away, you miss Inter Milan away, Chelsea away, you know, Nottingham Forest, you miss Sporting Lisbon away, boy, and you might miss West Ham in and around November. It depends on, on how quickly or how slowly it takes. Me personally, as much as I want him back sooner rather than later, when you hear ligaments, I'd rather us take a caution approach. Like, for example, best case scenario, which isn't the thing, if they said for argument's sake, yo, he can be back in two weeks, I would want Arsenal to say, you know what, you're back in 3-4. You don't want to play around with ligament issues. You don't want to knock on effect. For me, again, it's a bit of pill to swallow. It is a bomb a bombshell, definitely not bomb pause. Um, and my head is kind of kettled, really, because Odegaard, me, he's one of my most favourite players. He's our captain and injuries make you feel this way. But F it, you got to get on with it, man. Like, it is what it is. You know, we could talk about what we should have done in the summer. We could talk about January. There's a lot of football to be played. Don't want to use the Spurs game as an example because they're crap, but we've shown we can cope. Find ways around it. I don't know how you do it. I don't care how you do it. Get on with it, really, because injuries can strike 
at any given time. And it's not just Odegaard. You know, you've had Jesus coming back. Tommy Asu's not back anytime soon. Tini's not a major player, but still nursing a knock. Mikel Moreno bust his shoulder. Zini's picked up a knock, probably missing out some. Now, we hope there's no other injuries. We're going to have to utilise the squad and be quite cute and clever with such. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say, people. Again, when the full comments come out, we will speak. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. God bless you all for your consistent support. Peace.